The Yonex Gainwood German Open 2022 this week kickstarts a three tournament European leg on the HSBC BWF World Tour with the Yonex All England Open and Yonex Swiss Open following on in back to back weeks. These tournaments will see the big guns of badminton back in action after a number of them opted to skip the India leg in January. This is our look ahead to the European leg and we begin with men's singles. Former world number one Kento Momota returns to the fold after three months. The Japanese ace withdrew from the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals 2021 and skipped Huelva after failing to recover from a back injury that had been plaguing him since October. Malaysian Li Zizia will be making his tour debut as an independent player after parting ways with the Badminton Association of Malaysia in January. With a newly announced sponsorship with Victor, the 23-year-old now coached by Indonesian Indra Wijaya is fully focused on getting back to winning ways. Meanwhile, Shi Yuqi has not been included in the Chinese team to Europe. The Asian powerhouse will instead be led by Lu Guangzhou and Li Shi Feng in men's singles. In men's doubles, Chinese Taipei will be without their two best pairs. Olympic champions Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin pulled out of the European leg, wanting to get some rest to prepare for the major tournaments in the latter part of the year. Also opting out for similar reasons are the nation's number two pair, Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han. One half of the 2018 world champions and Olympic silver medalist Li Junhui announced his retirement in November. His 26-year-old partner, Yu Yu Chen, is set to test the waters with Wu Xuan Yi in Germany and Switzerland while pairing up with Zhou Haodong in Birmingham. Meanwhile, 2017 world champions Zhang Nan and Liu Cheng reunite for a final push as they approach the twilight of their careers. Over in the women's singles discipline. Carolina Marin's much-awaited return has been further postponed following the three-time world champion's withdrawal from the European leg. The Spaniard has been out of action since June due to a knee surgery. However, defending All England champion Nozomi Okuhara is set to return to the courts for the first time since the Tokyo Olympic Games. The Japanese world number five sat out all the events at the end of last year, recuperating from injury. One of the biggest stories coming off the European tournaments is in women's doubles. Sayaka Hirota will be making a return to the court for the first time since the Tokyo Olympics. The former world number one was forced out of action after undergoing an ACL surgery in August. Olympic gold medalist Apriani Rahayu is set to test a new partnership with City Fadia Silva Ramadanti in Switzerland, while still partnering Gracia Poli in Birmingham. The veteran, who will be hanging up her racket sooner rather than later, could be playing at her final All England as Indonesia and Rahayu start looking at badminton after Poli. Speaking of new partnerships, 2019 World Championships bronze medalist Du Yue is set to pair up with Li Wenmei after her former partner Li Yinhui retired from the sport for health reasons. The Chinese new pairing will make their debut in Germany. In mixed doubles, all eyes will be on China. With the news of double world champions Zhang Xiwei and Huang Yachong splitting in January, the duo are set to try new partnerships in two of the three European tournaments. Coming together maybe for the last time in Birmingham, 22-year-old Zhang Xuxian will look to Zhang for guidance, while Huang leads Wu Xuanyi in their new adventure. Also being spotted for the first time in Germany will be new Malaysian independent partnership of Ong Yu Sin and Go Liu Ying, with Go's former partner Chun Peng Soon having already made his debut with partner Valerie Sio. The spotlight will now surely be on Ong and Go. Last but not least, 2020 All England champions Pravin Jordan, Melati Daeva Octavianti will return as independent players after being removed from the national setup at the start of the year due to poor form. The pair are training with their club and hoping to make strides in this European leg. 